Welcome back, and today I'm going to build a tiny TV kit from tinycircuits.com. This is not sponsored, I just saw this, and I had to have it, I have an idea for it, and you're going to watch me build it here. And as you can see, it comes with this nice 3D printed uh, 60s style television set comes apart in two pieces, the back panel and the front panel where all the electronics will go. First thing I need to do though, and you wouldn't necessarily have to do this, but it's a little bit rough from the uh, 3D print. Um, it is high resolution, but there is a few little ridges and things, and I just wanted to clean it up a little bit so the paint lays down a little bit nicer. And normally, uh, something like this I would get my airbrush out and airbrush it, but I decided to use a brush because it's not that big and also I wanted to do a little bit of a technique to try to simulate a little bit of wood grain uh, just to give it the kind of character and style. Of course, when you build your kit, you can do whatever you want. You could paint this black, you could paint it silver, blue colors, you could make it really funky looking. Uh, the sky's the limit with this and actually this is the fun part. Um, because the rest of the build is actually pretty straightforward. I decided to use a dark brown for the outside and then I very carefully went around just so I didn't have to mask and overpaint and work around some of these little dials and things and you'll see how I do that later. And then I use this kind of lighter brown or almost a uh, light wood color. Uh, I've seen TVs like this for out of the 60s kind of have the bezel in this type of color and that's what I'm trying to kind of replicate here. And I'll also do that around the uh, front speaker surround. Of course that is just a uh, design feature. The speaker will actually be in the back and you'll see that later when I install the electronics. And there it is, pretty much done. Uh, I did uh, do the little legs in that same color. Now, the actual electronics put together really easily, like less than five minutes to put all this together. There's videos on how to do this uh, that walk you step by step from tiny circuits. Uh, these little boards, they just clip together and a few little connectors. I mean, it's really easy. The little Arduino. Uh, processor in there is pre-programmed uh, for uh, running uh, video files and there's the little speaker it has a little adhesive uh, die cut on the back it'll take the uh, sticker off and then it will stick to the back panel and these little pieces they come separately they kind of just hold the circuit board and screen in and there's the li little uh, battery little rechargeable battery that's in there as well that's pretty much it I mean it's it's really simple um, the fun part is the customization and making it look uh, authentic uh, for the time period and here's the footage product uh, I really like it uh, I have an idea for this so stay tuned get subscribed so you can see that I'm going to have a video on that build I'm not going to tell you what it is but it's going to go along with some other little things that I have planned and uh, let's see this thing in action it actually is quite impressive what it does and on the tiny circuits website there's a little converter so you can convert any video file into the video file that is compatible to play on this screen And the quality and sound is all dependent on the uh, video files that you convert. And um, we'll just finish it out with one of the favorite clips from one of my favorite TV shows, The Andy Griffith Show. Anyway, like I said, like this video, share it around, and uh, get subscribed so you can see what I do with this little tiny TV in the future. I think you're going to like it. Anyway, thanks for watching.